when we open the uh, Costex software, this is the first interface we can see. In here, you can uh, see new building or a new project. In here, we will select the new building. First, you have to put the name to uh, in this name column according to your project. Then select the project as default project. Then building type according to your project. Uh, in here, I select education and building. After that, we can use, uh, we can select the based uh, unit of measurement. Uh, it can be feet or, or inches or meters and millimeters. We can select. In here, I select meters. Then, we will, go and, we will upload a drawing to uh, this project. First, select the drawing tab, then add. In here, uh, you can select your uh, project drawings from your uh, from your computer in a folder select the drawing and um, select, uh, set the drawing name and folder uh, for in here I select structural and then in, uh, under that foundation then uh, we can uh, uh, rename the folder uh, drawing register uh, as the title I use the found, uh, foundation plan and then number drawing number 100 then based uh, unit of measurement also we have to select the uh, based of uh, uh, unit of measurement uh, for the drawing it also can be meters if we uh, select uh, Previously, we, sel uh, we select meters, then uh, in drawings also need to be select the same uh, unit of measurement, then insert. Uh, uh, after that, we are going to uh, calibrate the uh, drawing. Uh, after that, we are going to uh, calibrate the uh, drawing. Um, calibrate the drawing in here. Uh, first, we have to uh, select the known dimension. First, we will calibrate the x-axis. Uh, select the x, uh, x axis then uh, measure it in here you can type the uh, known dimension i type uh, here then uh, remove the tick we we need to uh, calibrate the y axis also then we need to uh, select a known dimension for y axis in here i select the pad putting uh, dimension in here, I select the pad putting dimension. It's 900 and 2700. Then we can calibrate the y-axis also. First, measure the known dimension and type here 2.7. Uh, it's meet, uh, comes under meter. Then it will be calibrated. Then we can measure is it uh, in the scale. Uh, we will uh, measure this one. It's a uh, show like, like uh, 0. 893 then less than uh, uh, 0 0.007 uh, meters um, if that uh, dimensions uh, calibrating are uh, not suitable to our drawing we can reset the calibration uh, i uh, reset the calibration here in here i uh, get this dimension as the known dimension 6000 first measure and then uh, type here 6 it's in meter. I uh, now this time I didn't remove the uh, y axis uh, calibration tape. Mm, then measure uh, is that uh, scale is correct. We will measure the uh, uh, pad footing uh, dimensions. We know that the metro it is like 2.7 meters. Now uh, our drawing is in correct scale. Now we are going to add the dimension. First we add, uh, first we get a count. In here you can type the dimension uh, group name, uh, group pro in group properties. I uh, write PC1, then folder. You can uh, select, uh, you can type here your folder name. I uh, write here foundation and under that, now I uh, type uh, pad foot. Then, then in here we have to select the measurement type how we can how we are going to measure it i uh, i'm going to measure it as a count then in default display uh, uh, 
in here you can select the default display type uh, that means unit of measurement you need to display i select it also as a count then in here you can select the color uh, whatever you want I select orange then um, if uh, when you get a uh, dimensions uh, we can get it as a line or a point uh, in here i first select the line uh, now we uh, if we uh, select this uh, drawing uh, i um, uh, type uh, two line lines then it uh, shows uh, the count as two num uh, two numbers then uh, we can uh, delete this dimension using that select uh, select tool then i will select next uh, measurement type in a point in point it's simply uh, point out the um, uh, element then it will show like uh, three then now we are going to measure the area and here also you can select the dimension to and write the name and the fo uh, folder name then as the measurement type you can select the area the uh, area and then default display type you can select it also as an area then color you can change the color or same as the color then uh, we can select the point tool or line tool to measure the uh, element in here you can uh, when we measure an area this uh, area should be closed so to get this closed area we can enter at the last point we can uh, enter the we can press the enter key keyboard then it will be closed area it shows like this then next we will measure a line uh, as previously you can uh, you can select a name then folder then as the measurement type you can select the length display uh, default display also length then we will measure uh, using the uh, line and point like this then it will be shows uh, in the dimension groups uh, as meters then next we will measure volume using the constants uh, first you have to or an area uh, or a count or anything if we select area in here i will select area then default display type is volume then in here i select color in here uh, volume uh, if we get uh, if we need to get a volume by using area that area should be multiplied by height then in here in this dimension group properties uh, there is a measured di dimension path we can uh, we need to go that path and change the uh, change the uh, volume formula it uh, in here it shows area multiplied by height then it will be okay we can uh, then we can continue with that formula now we can measure we need to measure covered area then now we measure the covered area now in that uh, dimension uh, group it shows uh, as volume now we measure the closed area. In Cosnex, as a one benefit, we can view the measurements uh, in 3D. In here, uh, we can uh, view the uh, that volume we volume that we measured in a 3D view. This is the uh, view of uh, that three uh, volume.